All right, what's going on everyone out there on YouTube, NES Ruler, and welcome to a brand new review. And this time around, we'll be checking out a film that was sent to me to review by Dark Force Entertainment and Code Red. And you can pick this up on 4K at all your favorite online retailers. It is a film from the year 1981 titled Scream. So, first off, sorry if I'm extremely sunburned. I, uh, I went to the Indy 500 yesterday and uh, I got quite sunburned, so unfortunately, I'm having a great day today. But I had even a better day watching this film from 1981. And if you can't tell, I'm being completely sarcastic. Scream from 1981. Well, I'm not going to try to get into my 22 shots of moods and horror Jeremy character with this review. Because I'm just, I could really, really fast get into that character and uh, absolutely rip this one a new asshole. But I'm not going to. Um, you know, it's a shame that the Olsen brothers died so recently, both weeks apart, because both Bill, especially Bill, who, if you guys don't know, ran Code Red Bill, a.k.a. Banana Man, he passed a couple months ago, and he read, and he ran Code Red, and he did do a lot for these low-budget independent horror films to get them on disc, to get them on Blu-ray and DVD, so even though I don't fully agree with some of his shady tactics that he did. I I appreciate what Bill did. And, um, of course, his brother went to run Scorpion. And, you know, he, he made that label what it is. So, you know, it's a shame both of them passed. So, uh, you know, I'm not going to bash Bill too much in Code Red. But this is like the fourth release of this film. And the big problem with this release, or with these uh, this film in general is... A lot of the releases are pretty bad. They're really dark and can't see anything, especially on like the Blu-ray that came out a few years ago. It's super dark, can't see anything. Is this release better? Yes. You can actually see what the hell's going on finally in this movie. And I, uh, I give it credit in that terms. It doesn't have no HDR, no nothing, no nothing special. It's just a 4K release of Scream. And it doesn't even look that good to begin with. But at least you can see what is going on. Now this is the second pressing of this film. This film came out on the Dark Force Entertainment um, website. I don't know. A little while ago. In a Blu-ray 4K combo pack. And if you look on the back here. You have um, Maria's B-movie Mayhem being advertised here on the back. We even have her right there with the, uh, the machete blade thing and um it's not on this disc wasn't on the disc the first time around and it's still not on the disc this time around why it's still advertised on the back of this release i have no idea it's like this is the second time around don't you think you should take that off the back cover if it's not on the release but for some reason it's advertised as being presented by maria but guess what it's not on here, so if you guys want to pick this up hoping that that's on here, you're probably going to be disappointed because it's not on there. The only thing that's on here is the director's commentary. This is a very bad slasher, boring-ass slasher. Uh, we follow, like, 15 characters as they, they are on a rafting trip and they come across this abandoned town, and one by one they start getting picked off. Off-screen, the entire film, every kill is off-screen. The characters are completely uninteresting. Totally lame, just generic 1981 slasher craze characters that absolutely suck. If you watch slasher films for the kills, this movie has no kills that are anything interesting. It's a complete trash. The acting is trash. Like I said, the characters are trash. No backstory. There's way too many characters in this film. Nothing happens. The sound cues are absolutely hilarious at some points. I mean, this is absolutely awful, the like, cues that they put in this film at some points. I mean, this is a cash grab of the slasher craze from 1981, which, of course, many considered the best year of horror in all time. So, you know, it came out during that period, but unfortunately this movie is trash. And then the, the, the reveal, the killers, there's not even really a reveal. It's just a stupid-ass movie. And the fact that now this is like the sixth release, see, I'm getting into my 22 shots character. I gotta gotta slow down. This uh, this the fact that this is like the fifth release of this movie is mind blowing to me because it's just crappy. Um, and that's 
that was kind of Bill's motto, <laughs> putting out crappy movies all the time. So, um, but here it is on 4K. No features, even though, like I said, it's advertised as having B Mayhem. Nothing on there. Just a commentary track, put in the disc, got the main menu play, movie, and then the commentary. And that that's all you get. Um, the soundtrack is fine. Like I said, it's it's a low-budget film, so it's not going to look good. I've already commented on the transfer. It's the best the movie's looked, but it still looks like crap. But um, I, I'm, I, I can't recommend Scream that, that much. I think a lot of you guys agree with me. This movie is total ass, and it's not good. It's pretty boring, and I just can't recommend Scream, obviously. If you guys like low-budget, crappy movies, you're probably going to want to pick this one up. If you like this movie for some reason, um, you have another edition now of it in 4K, and you're going to get what you're going to get. Here's the disc art. That's all you get. Like I said, the other edition had a Blu-ray. This is like the standard uh, retail release that just has the, uh, the 4K. So, yet another release of Scream. And uh, I just wanted to say that about the Olsen brothers. It's unfortunate what happened to them. They did a huge thing for the community. So um, hopefully their, their legacy lives on, even though their practices weren't always the most ethical at times. So that is my review of Scream from the year 1981. You can pick this up on 4K at all your favorite online retailers. If you guys like this review, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash NESRuler22. Hope everybody's doing well, and I shall see you guys soon. See you guys.